Howdy guys, it's Yo Human Frisk, and welcome. Uh, I've not actually played Deep Oaken on my channel yet, but Deep Oaken. I actually really like Deep Oaken. Uh, I've been playing it since it came out, though I did stop for a while just because this game can be really toxic sometimes. But ever since Verse 2 dropped, I have been playing like crazy. This game has just reinvigorated the addiction it had on me off when I first started the game. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys some of Layer 2, specifically Floor 1. I won't really be able to show you quite yet how to beat Chaser, probably, because I've not yet beat Chaser. I don't really... I'm not really good at the fight. I'm just fucking skill issue. Yeah, I know. Before anybody says anything about skill issue, yes, I have mad skill issue. Okay. But, uh, first thing you want to do is go to Castle Light. If you don't know where Castle Light was, I just showed you from one spawn. I probably should have shown from a better spot. I might do that in a later video if I actually do fight Chaser. But if I do a video where I'm fighting Chaser, I'm not going to show you everything that I'm showing you this time because I'm going to try and be a lot faster about it. I'm not going to be fast about Floor 1 of Layer 2. And that's because I want to give you guys an uncut guide on how to get to Chaser without any hitches show you how to get everything you need to get to chaser and have just good stuff to take with you when you get out of chaser the two talents um, I'm gonna show you how to get the two talents uh, friggin if, if I'd stop being brain dead for a second I'd tell you uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the talents Etheron's gaze and Union hook and I think I already have both of them on this slot of mine, but don't don't quote me on that. I could be wrong about one of them. You talk to her and go into here, and that'll get you light hook. If this is your first time trying to do layer two, you need light hook. Trust me, you want light hook, or else you will wipe if you don't go through and beat chaser. I've heard that there's another way to get out, I think. I don't actually know how to do that, so don't take my word for it. Just trust me. Fight, uh, as far as I know, Light Hook and ch Beating Chaser are the only ways to get out. Okay. So when you start, you're going to be spawned in in a snowy area facing this way. Turn behind you, run this path. That's the first thing you want to do. You do have to be quick about all of this because your light hook only lasts 20 minutes and you don't want it to run out. Trust. Because if it runs out then you only have the option to beat chaser or get wiped. You can take that path if you want to Although if you don't want to, just go back the way I showed you originally, and then come back to this path, this was where you spawned at, and just run this way instead. And then you come through here, you go up here, turn in that. I usually climb up here, but you don't have to, it just makes it faster. Go through the door. And be careful here because wind will get you. You want to face the wind whenever it blows and walk toward it. You can walk sideways as well a bit, but you do want to walk toward the wind. You will get these things called parasites on you. Uh, if you don't take that path, you just go around there, keep facing the wind whenever it blows, come up to here, go up both of these ladders, face this path okay the wind didn't 
fully blow. That's weird. Wait for the wind to blow, then jump over the thing. Uh, if you've taken a bit, a little while, I'd take this middle path here. Wait for the wind to blow. You'll find that the wind is super annoying. Come into here and use this. It'll get rid of all of your parasites. You need to get rid of parasites because they will kill you. You only have so long before you get rid of your parasites before they kill you. If you get so many of them on you, I think it's like five to seven. I don't remember exactly. I don't know because I've never let them gather on me enough. I'm always really quick to do everything I can to get rid of parasites. Take this pathway, come to this little castle thing, step back, don't let those fall on you. Don't touch that snow stuff there, it will, like, you'll get parasites on you really fast. Come over here, you have to cross this bridge, and uh, then you have to fight this guy, the Bone Keeper. He can be a bit difficult if you don't know what you're doing. God, I always fuck up that one move. Be very careful about fighting him because you don't want to die. Alright, once you kill him, keep heading through the way. Come through here. Don't worry about talking to that guy. I'd put away your weapon for this spot because, uh, you can. I'd just to be careful and not fall off. Climb up through there. This is the generator. Pa uh, interact with it, power it on, come back down here. Go against this wall and dash into it, and then just go back through. Going back to the place where we got rid of uh, parasites, that's called Pilgrim's Respite. Always be careful for the wind. It will be the single most annoying part of this game. Oh my goodness, this layer 2 sucks sometimes, specifically floor 1, because of this gale. I like gale breathe, but I do not want to be breathing this gale, for real. This shit sucks. Alrighty, and there, interact with that. Uh, you can keep an eye on your light hook time. We have 15 minutes left. We're actually making pretty good time. Uh, you come down through here. I recommend fighting these guys. There's a reason I'd recommend fighting them, and it's because unless you are really fast, you're going to be annoyed with them the entire time that you're trying to do the next part because they will hit you while you're getting blown by wind. And basically, there's nothing you'll be able to do about it. So kill those two. Wait here. These three will spawn. Uh, I wouldn't worry about grabbing that chest. It doesn't usually have anything good in it. Come down to here, go up this one path. Watch out for the wind. Oh shoot, I didn't show you guys how to get Union Hook. Uh, you probably could, you don't necessarily need Union Hook, but I'll show you that in a later video. What you do need first, and is the most important thing, 
go through here come on to here turn backwards you want to fall through this go through there come up here do not touch the white stuff all right and then speed your way down this you want to be fast because things will fall and hit you when you come down here quickly interact with that and climb get the heck out of here and then come back up here and then from there just come this way come back over that take a left go this path find the blue thing go down through here be really quick because there is a bounder turn come through here and then climb up here now you have the spear you needed the spear okay go through here and what you need the spear for is where we're going right now speed your way across this because it will fall behind you like it did just there come to this grate go this path take a left right here past this bounder sometimes he won't aggro on you once you get up here turn around go this way you don't have to fight those I usually ignore them but you can fight them if you want to they drop a chest it's got okay loot come use this you had to interact with that blue button by the way and now you're at fur fire at fur fire you just want to go all the way down this path past the two buildings talk to him he'll give you Etheron's gaze Etheron's gaze is good because it makes you able to see better that's why I was able to see things that you probably won't be able to when you first come in it's okay basically just makes the fog less bad what? Come back through here and take this path over here. And then there's a blue gate. Uh, I will be right back. And then you want to run down through here and be really fast about coming through here. I don't know why I'm messing up, but you don't want to do what I was just doing. You want to avoid all of that. Alright, and then come to here, and what you want to do is come this way. Be quick on these, because they will fall from underneath of you if you are slow. Be quick through here, because things will fall on top of you. Make a right come over there past that bounder come over here come through there I usually put away my weapon here because this parkour can be a little bit challenging at times Oop. that spot will fall you don't want that to happen get up there get up there Past this bounder. Oh, well, this isn't usually the way I go. Actually, no, this is exactly the way I go. I take that over onto here. That was just lucky. Come over here. Climb up this. All right. Then you go left. Past this bounder. Come to here. If you have Union Hook, take that. If you don't, follow me. You can climb up this path here. It's It can be kind of difficult sometimes to find the path to climb up. But you can climb up this way, and that'll put you right where that put you. Climb up some more. get up onto here climb this and now you're at chaser I hope this helped you uh, I 
have some time to do some chaser, so I will show you how to some of how to fight chaser. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Dodge that. On this move, things will fall from the sky. You do not want to get hit by them. They are strong. For that, you want to jump over all of them or climb up here. Dodge that. Ignore my skill issue for a moment. Oh my goodness, bro. I can't even get that one. You can also parry that. Every time he falls, you want to do as much to him as you can. I don't have, like, any healing stuff. So, I'm basically not going to beat him on this slot. very careful during all this I'd spit on him whenever you but yeah you can see that I'm probably not gonna win Every time you break all of those, and then he uses a move, he will fall. And just basically, if you can not be as skill issued as I am. Oh my god, I actually dodged that too. Basically, just don't be like me. Don't have skill issue, and you can beat him. Uh, that means I only have five minutes left on my light hook. I don't overuse. I don't like to overuse dash on this, just because. Just because, you know. He has a move that makes dash. That basically requires that you use dash. I 
I've never seen him do that three times in a row. I really need to get bloodless gems. Ugh. There's nowhere that's really safe from that move. But yeah, once I get to one minute, I'm probably just going to... Oh, nice. I've actually never gotten this far in Chaser, so... Oh wait, I... I have him at the point where... He's only using attacks. So if you can do a lot of damage to him, you could probably beat him. If you pay attention, he's not hard. Oh my goodness, I say that. Basically, if you're smart. Oh, okay, that is not a spot that's safe. <laughs> if I die here, I wipe, is what's gonna happen. So, good luck to me, I guess. I'm hoping I can beat him for the first time because I don't feel like losing this slot.
Oh my goodness. So for this section, you want to get to the middle. Oh. For that section, you have to be in the middle and just parry every time he does that, and you will win. That's the farthest I've gotten in Chaser. God damn, that was close. But yeah, uh, that's layer two. If you do... If you get to that section, you basically won. If you have high health at that section, unlike me who got to low health because I'm dog water, but basically if you can get to that part and you have a lot of your health, you can actually pretty much tank all of what is there in the end, and then you win. You beat him. And he will give you a lot of good loot. Uh, I've not beat Chaser yet, but that was a great run. I actually almost beat it. Uh, rip to Amelius, uh, to Amelius Nothly. My boy got so far. I was dripped out to the nines, and it's gonna suck to part with this character. I might actually buy it back, just because I really, really, really like this slot. Like, I, I love this slot. This slot was so... So fun. You might ask why I didn't use my bell, but that's because my bell wasn't worth using in that it basically would have done nothing. It'd be nice if you could heal off of it without knocking people, but eh, that, that would just be broken for Blood Scourge, not gonna lie. Not a particular favorite bell of mine to be honest I should have gotten a better bell anyway uh, that seems to be all I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to stay determined